Hello and welcome back to JMP Miniatures. This is a painting tutorial on how to paint Space Wolves Terminators. So for the first step, I started with Vallejo Game Colour, Shadow Grey and Base Coat the whole model. In the next step, I used Tau Sept Ochre to paint the yellow shoulder pad and the weapons. Once the Tau Sept Oak has dry, I went over with Vallejo Model Air Colour, Golden Yellow, over all the Tau Sept Oak areas. In this step, I use scorched brown on all the fur areas. All the equivalents to the paints will be in the description, so if you're unsure, just check that out. Next, I used Talon Flesh to base coat the face. I then used Denim Stone to base coat all the bone areas. Next, I'm using Vallejo Game Color Gun Metal and I'm base coating all of the metal areas. The first ink I use is Citadel Null Oil and this is applied over the entire model, except the yellow areas. For the yellow areas, I then shade them with Reichland Flesh Shade. Next, all the main details are painted with Balthazar Gold.
In this step, I use Agrax Earthshade to shade the face and gold areas. In this step, I use Rust Grey to layer over all the higher areas of the armour. It's important to miss out the crevices and keep the original colour just to give the model some variation. Here's a look at the model after this step's finished. Next, I use Bestial Brown and dry brush over the fur areas. I use snake bite leather to give the fur a highlight. I then use bubonic brown as a secondary highlight. Moving on to the face, I use dwarf flesh to lay out over the higher areas in the same way I did the armour. I then highlight the face using Vallejo Game Colour Bone White. The gold details are highlighted using Dwarf Bronze. The armour is given a highlight using Fenrisian Grey. For any gems, I use Mephiston Red. In this step, I use Sit Down Gloss Varnish to prepare the shoulder pad for a water transfer. I also use it on the gem to give it some glow. Next, I'm cutting out the water transfer for the shoulder pad and dipping the water transfer in water to get it ready to apply. Once the water transfer is separated from the paper backing, as I'm showing here, I use a pair of tweezers and a paintbrush to pick the water transfer up and apply it to the glossed area on the shoulder pad. I then use Revel Degal Softener and apply it to the water transfer. This softens the edges and allows it to curve around the shoulder pad. I then dry off the water transfer with a piece of tissue and apply Citadel Limian Medium to remove the gloss shine. Moving on to the base, I use Codex Grey and dry brush it over the entire base. I then use Vallejo Wolf Grey and give it a dry brush highlight. And finally I apply PVA glue to the base so I can apply some snow flock to give a nice icy effect. 